Jaguar do Teddy is really bringing our show part two. Just um, having a little bit of it. Oh, God, no! I'm going to be filmed. People are going to think I'm funny having makeup. Throw it away! Hi, I'm Jaxu Teddy, and I'm here to talk about the juxtaposition and the infiltration of light and everything else that's pretentious within the art world. I'm going to be talking to Jasmine Maddock, who is a fantastic surrealist artist. But instead of interviewing her with a microphone, I'm going to interview this bottle of wine that I had at private view last night. Ugh. Hi, I'm Jasmine Maddock, and I'm the artist in question that he's talking about. I can't believe I'm going to be interviewed by a teddy bear, but let me say that uh, a teddy bear is a, a lot down less pretentious than lots of people that go to exhibitions. Yes, well, can you tell me, Jasmine, can you tell me what is it about your work that is the juxtaposition of feminism and light? Well, I don't actually like to see my work in those terms. I just like to describe my work for what it really is, a surrealist exploration of unusualness and romanticism. Note that we both have matching red eyes and so on. Hi, it's Perzita. Can I can I review this one? Because I think Jasmine's work is very sweet and cute. Excuse me, what are you doing? I'm Jax to I'm Jax. I'm I'm the bear. Go away. You're not in this. You're in every single video. I'm fed up with it. Go away. Go away. It's my video. It's my video. I'm doing the review. It's me, Jax to Teddy. Right. So this one, this is in Somina. This is all about the juxtaposition of feminism and the radiance of light and the transgression of being. Actually, in Somina, it's actually all about the problems of getting to sleep, having a cereal box head, being wake up, woken up by nightmares, and actually inventing a hypnotist to try to get you to sleep, and counting things about worry instead of sheep to make you go to sleep. Love it, I love it, I love this piece. This is a fairy, this is transgression of the identity of the feminine self. No, actually, this work, Lady, has been exhibited at the SAA, the Ritz, Miami, a lot of places. It's a very popular image, and it's about a fairy, and it's about detail and beauty and colour and fantasy, and about escaping from the normal modern world. This piece, is called Hedy and I, and it's a self-portrait crossed with a portrait of Hedy Lamarr, an actress from the 1930s. It's actually got small versions of her in her hair as well. It's the juxtaposition of... Stop it, go away, go away, go away, go away, go away. I actually wish that I could just do this video myself and just talk all about my artwork because I think it would be a lot more su successful and I could actually talk about it in terms that people would understand. What are you talking about? I understand myself. Do I understand myself? I am the greatest thing since sliced bread. And since bread that's not been sliced, I am the supreme old of my straw himself. Lastly, this piece is called Victorian Man. This is a bit of a strange one. It's actually a Victorian man, and he's got another bottom on him, a bit like a pack of cards, and not forgetting the penguin's bottom, and the little small images of him actually hidden around the place. It's all about identity and about inversion of the self. Oh, God, I'm sounding like him now. Well, I thought it would be catching eventually. Get me under the light, the spotlight. Hi. Uh, this has been a Jacks Do Teddy production for a Jacks Do Teddy show and a Jacks Do Teddy world. Bye. Bye.